Hey everybody, I'm just coming on for a real quick scope. Thank you so much if you're joining me for the replay. I won't keep you very long. Today was our first day of school and everyone's back home, but I wanted to hop on real quick. Hello, sorry I didn't put the fish eye on. <laughs> so hello, thank you everybody. I just wanted to hop on real quick because I am in the midst of working on our breakfast and lunch stations, but everyone is back home from school. Um, my name, oh sorry, let's start from the beginning. <laughs> For those of you that are just starting to follow me or this is the first scope with me, my name is Lisa, I'm Creative Lee. I blog at creativelee.com. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all by that same handle. Um, and today was the first day of school for both our public schoolers and our homeschoolers because that's right, our family is doing both this year, which is chaotic. So in the midst of the chaos, we need a little bit of ease and stress, de-stressing to our day. And so this year I am putting together the DIY breakfast and lunch stations. Um, you need help with kitchen logistics? Um, I'm usually a fairly decent cook and meal preparer, but when the school year hits, it always hits me hard. And so I am using, um, you love bulk breakfast and lunch. This is a first for me. The only thing I've ever done bulk of is instant oatmeal packets, and that's what I'm working on right now, but I have like everything is set up and ready for us to kind of plug through this. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera around just a minute. So I'm using the, these are um, downloadables from notconsumed.com. And if you go on my blog, uh, creatively.com, there is a link in the sidebar that is my affiliate link. So I'm using both the lunch and the breakfast. And of course I've printed it out, traveler's notebook size, but these aren't gonna be housed in the traveler's notebook. They're just so that we can have them easily accessible. Um, Yeah, so what what I'm doing is creating the breakfast parts right now. And what we're doing is making our own instant oatmeal packets so that we kind of control what goes in it. And also it saves a ton of money because one canister um, of oatmeal makes quite a bit more packages for much less than a, a box of the instant oatmeal. That, that's fine if you're into all natural. Um, thank you for the, for the um, encouragement. So there's lots of things I found to be really helpful in here. And of course, there's plenty of things that we were already doing, except that um, we were not, we were not doing them in bulk. So the choices that are in this this set are muffins, crepes, oatmeal, yogurt, burrito, breakfast burritos, energy balls, cereal, granola bars. Um, so like lots of these things we've already kind of incorporated, but putting them all together into stations where the kids can just grab and go in the morning is going to be a change for us. And then some of the lunch ideas. Um, Jordan, I'm gonna block you if you continue this because that's a little trollish. <laughs> I don't need to be taught how to do things all naturally, but thank you very much. Um, so for the lunch stations, it's broccoli and rice, ham roll-ups, mini pizzas, mac and cheese cups, quesadilla sticks, peanut butter and jelly, Mexican roll-ups, corn dog muffins, grilled ham and cheese, and Southwest burritos. And so, of course, you know, if there's anything listed in these recipes that what is my children's normal palette, I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit. But it's a great head start for ideas that I can just knock out all at once and get them into the freezer for the kids. Yeah, lunch ideas, because I'm telling you, like even for those of us that are at home, it's hard to put a stop in the middle of the day and to prepare a meal. You know, sometimes we have leftovers in the fridge and we can just heat those up, but there's a lot of times where we're kind of stuck from scratch and we don't always want a sandwich. And so I'm really enjoying these ideas of like, go ahead and make it ahead, pre-cook it, and then stick it in the freezer. So yesterday I cleaned out frozen burgers. That's a good idea. I just don't have, um, I've never pre-cooked a burger and froze it, but that's a neat idea because that's like the White Castle 
burgers in a box. So I should certainly be able to do that on little slider buns. Thank you so much for that idea. We might have to add that to our next round of lunch meals and things. Um, so. Oh, Jordan, I appreciate that. I just don't want anybody in trying to bash what I'm doing on the scopes. I'm not, I'm not going to get into a debate about natural or convenience foods because there's just no need for that. We're all moms, and what we really need is to encourage each other to live the best life that we can for our families and not get hung up on labels of who's doing what, which way, because I think that there's really no room for that. Okay, <laughs> so you do 40 at a time. I am going to have to check that out. If you will tweet me the link to that video, I would greatly appreciate that because I know many of my children would really love that, I think. Um, so I don't want to keep you on very long because, like I said, I need to get this table cleared off so that we can actually have dinner tonight. We're going to have egg roll in a bowl, which is nice and quick and easy, and all that stuff is ready to go. Um, but yeah, so I did my shopping, I did a BJ's run, I did an Aldi stock up, and um, Super Walmart and Target to get everything knocked out all at once. Thankfully, we have a fairly generous grocery budget twice a month, and so that was really helpful to just stock up on all these things that might not have already been in my pantry and freezer, and certainly not in these quantities. So I can really see, like as I was kind of tallying everything up, I wrote the prices next to each ingredient that I was purchasing so that hopefully I can share um, what the cost breakdown was for us. And of course, we are a, a household of eight, so there's lots of meals to be had all throughout the day. Um, so that's that's what that is. And so I'm I'm really liking the ideas. And like I was talking to a friend earlier today about these um, the DIY station packet, and I say, you know, it's it's not anything that's incredibly original. I could certainly browse Pinterest and find recipes that are freezable, but the reality is those are hours in the day that I just don't have. And so paying a small price for this as a downloadable printable was the way to go for me because that right there will save money by stretching my time, which we all know that we don't have a whole lot of time throughout the day. Um, so I am going to hop off here unless you have any questions for me so that I can finish doing some more of this prep, get dinner on the stove, and yeah, there are just not enough hours in the day and not enough days in the week. I'm still waiting for like an extra more than one leap year, leap day every four years. We need some more of those. Um, although we would use that up and need more too. <laughs> so, but anyway, I want to thank you for tuning in. And certainly if you have tips for food that is easily freezable and um, for bulk cooking, I would greatly appreciate those suggestions because I have a feeling that once we get this set done, that we are totally going to enjoy this process because it's going to streamline both our mornings and our afternoon. So um, I hope you guys have a great afternoon. You've had a successful day of work, school, whatever has been keeping you busy today. 